Good evening, I'm Hannah Gray. Hannah Gray has been to meet four young people who are applying. Hannah Gray has been hearing some of their memories. Hannah Gray has the story. Before starting the race, Lizzie Dagnan said that this would be a real highlight. This is where she grew up, it's where she learnt to cycle, and the atmosphere is electrifying. From the wrapping paper, to the Christmas crackers, to the decorations, at Christmas we are surrounded by plastic. And plastic isn't the only problem. We travel more, we need more power to heat our homes and to light those sparkly Christmas lights. If I want to be more environmentally friendly this festive season, I think I'm going to need some advice. Harry was knocked down and killed by a tractor driver here at Swithin's Farm near Leeds in 2013. The driver had twice the legal alcohol limit in his system, but he couldn't be prosecuted for drink driving because he was on private land. So, Hannah, Tamar waited a year before he could work. Is that about average? Well, the Home Office say that they try to process all asylum claims within six months. But the asylum seekers that I've been speaking to in London are saying that it can be as long as 18 years. Now, for that whole time, asylum seekers are totally reliant on money from the government. They get £5.39 a day and they also get accommodation. During the Second World War, the 35 acres all around me was almost completely destroyed. St Giles Church was burnt out with just its tower and walls left standing. For two decades, this served as just an adventure playground for children. But it's right in the heart of the city of London, so something had to be done with it. Here at the English National Ballet, these lovely ladies have been given the chance to come and do a workshop. They're learning some choreography from an award-winning show. £65,000 has been raised for the Battersea Cats and Dogs Home by the dogs and their owners, like this one. This is Byron. Good boy. And now they've come back here to the pool that they used to swim in together 25 years ago when they worked here as lifeguards. Today, though, it's all about a swimathon for the Grenfell Foundation. Generation after generation, this market has thrived. While the area outside has been changing quite dramatically, in here, it's been similar for centuries. It was very fast paced, very loud, and some fake terrorists boarded the ship behind me, but the Marines were able to protect it. Now, it was just a war game exercise, and it was here to demonstrate this historic relationship between the two nations. The campaigners say they wait in hope that the Transport Secretary will back their ambitious proposal. Hannah Gray, BBC Look North, Queensbury. Right, that's it. I'll be back at 10.20. Bye for now.